Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, aka Mr. Everything, and we are coming back at you with some more Skyrim. Uh, I have some news about Skyrim that I just want to share. Um, and uh, I don't know how to I don't know how to go about doing this, so let me just be upfront and just tell you what's going on. Uh, I got an email from YouTube saying that. Uh, my episode number 69, if you remember that episode, if you've already watched it, uh, episode number 69 uh, had a copyright strike. Well, it didn't have a strike. Let me rephrase that. It had a copyright warning, right? And they warned me that they were going to be investigating the video to see if there was something worth or worthy of a copyright strike because apparently someone had reported the video. Okay. The person that had reported the video, I would assume was I was using something of theirs that they didn't want me to use, right? That's that's understandable. I understand that. So, the only thing I could think of that would qualify as uh, something that someone wouldn't want me to use would be one of the mods that I've used uh, because I use a ton of mods but most of these mods are uh, you know available on Vortex to be used right and so I just finished going through my entire list of mods and I looked at all the authors of every mod that I'm using and compared it to who filed the complaint and they are not the same. There is, there is no mod author in my game that has the same name or initials as the, the claimant, if you would. So if uh, if they uh, decide against me right or uh, charge me and, and give me a strike then what I'm probably going to do is stop streaming Skyrim I'll continue to play it on my own but I'll stop streaming it um, because that is I don't want to get a I don't want to get a a second or a third strike because they said if I get three strikes then I'll be banned from YouTube or whatever which isn't too terrible because there's other streaming platforms etc but I don't want to make anybody mad that's not why I'm here I'm here to enjoy it have fun show you guys what the game's all about and just cruise along so um so we'll see how YouTube, uh, if they find anything, because I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find, I didn't, I, now, there was one time uh, many moons ago, maybe episode 30 or 20 or something like that, I did put a Billy Idol song into my video. I tried to shorten it down to like 20 seconds or whatever. Uh, remember White Wedding? That's what I was trying to do because we read a book about the White Wedding. So I put the I put the song The White Wedding up and it matched the book exactly. The, the lyrics of the song and the book were the same. And so I thought that was kind of interesting. So I put it up and then I got a strike. Not a strike. I got a warning that that was copywritten and that that content has been removed from my video which I totally get that and that's not a problem right uh, but that's the only thing ever that I think I've ever tried you know or ever had any kind of copyright violation at all so uh, we're gonna continue and uh, if I get if I wind up getting a strike I'm just going to remove all the videos because I don't want any second or third strikes. Um, and that'll suck. Or maybe I'll need to start streaming onto another platform. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We just finished. Why am I moving so slow? 
Am I carrying too much to run? No. Okay. Now I now I can move. Okay. I was wondering what was going on. I am carrying quite a bit though. And I don't know. So Lydia, let's talk about our backpack. Whoa, she has like that evil look to her face with the, the way the lighting is hitting her. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so before we go anywhere, I want to make sure I read a book. And I think it has dropped all the books into Lydia's backpack. So let's see if there's a book on the shelf around here. Varieties of Faith in the Empire. Let's read that. And let's remember not to take it. Oh, it says take. It doesn't say steal. I just took it. Okay, so in that case, let's read it. All right, people. Varieties of Faith in the Empire by Brother Michael Karkuksor of the Imperial College. This is my best attempt at a listing of the pantheons and associated divine spirits of Tamriel's dominant cultures. This list is by no means complete. The imperial city of Cyrodiil alone boasts a vast host of saints and holy spirits. It only includes the most important spirits, revered by native members of the culture. Other et ada, especially Daedra, are often known to many cultures Though specific names are included here only when they possess a particular cultural significance. The omission of any reference to the worship of the Argonians of Black Marsh is a result of my complete inadequacy in reconciling the obscure and contradictory accounts available to me on that subject. The Eight Pantheons Okay, so what they're saying is there's, you know, like on Earth, we've got the Nordic gods, we got the Greek gods, we got the Roman gods, we got the, uh, <clears throat> each one of those would be considered a pantheon. You know, we got Cthulhu, Mythos, we've got, um, uh, we've got, uh, El Melibone and gods. We, basically, there's a whole bunch of different. Oh wait, don't don't forget the Egypt. Egypt has their own sect of gods as well. But so each one of these eight pantheons is kind of like one of those different groups. Okay, Cyrodiil has Akatosh, Debella, Arke, Zenithar, Mara, Stendar, Kinnereth, Julianos, Shazar, Tiber Septum. And Morris and Rahman. Those are the ones I'm familiar with. Okay, Skyrim has Alduin. I wouldn't consider him a god. He's a dragon. Debella, Orki, Soon, Mara, Stoon, Kine, Hunal, Shore, Yzmur, Herman Mora, and Malak. Um, okay, sounds good. The Altmer. Which I guess is, what are they, the High Elves? Ariel, Chernamac, Magnus, Cerebane, Ifri, Xarxes, Mara, Stendar, Lorcan, and Venaster. And notice there's a little crossover between areas, but so far Mara's been in all of them. Bosmer, that would be the Wood Elves. Ariel, Ifr, Arke, Zen, Xarxes, Bondar, Mara, Sendar, Lorcan, Herman Mora, Joan, and Jode. Again, Mara's still in there. The Dunmer, they would be the Dark Elves, if I remember my Elven history correctly. Almalexia, Vivek, Sathasil, Botia, Mephala, Azura, Lorcan, Nerevar, Molagbal, Malakath, Shiagorath, Merun's Dagon. 
Then the Yorkuda. Who are the Yorkuda? I don't even know. Um, Satiskal, Ruptga, Tuwaka, Zet, Morwa, Tawa, Malak, Diagna, Sep, Hunding, Leki, and Ozni. I bet you those gods are the same just by a different name based on that language. Bretany. Okay, I know where the I know the Bretons are. Akatosh, Magnus, Ifri, Debella, Arke, Zenithar, Mara, Sendar, Kinnereth, Julianus, Shior, and Vanaster. Elsewhere, that'd be the Kitty Cats. Alkosh, Kinarthi, Riddlethar, Jarje, Mara, Sharendar, Larkaj, Rajin, Bandar, Azura with an H, and Shigaroth. Okay, so a lot of those are the same. It's obvious, but their names have changed. Notes on the Divine Spirits of the Pantheons. Oh my gosh, this book's going to go on forever. No, I'm kidding. Akatosh, Dragon God of Time. Akatosh is the chief deity of the Nine Divines, the major religious cult of Cyrodiil and its provinces, and one of the two deities found in every Tamrielic religion. The other is Lorcan. He is generally considered to be the first of the gods to form in the beginning place. After its establishment, other spirits found the process of being easier and the various pantheons of the world emerged. He is the ultimate god of the Cyrodiilic Empire, where he embodies the qualities of endurance, invincibility, and everlasting legitimacy. Alduin, world eater. Alduin is the Nordic variation of Akatosh and only superficially resembles his counterpart in the Nine Divines. For example, Alduin's sobriquet, the world eater, comes from myths and depict him as the horrible, ravaging firestorm that destroyed the last worlds beginning in this one. Nords, therefore, see the god of time as both creator and harbinger of the apocalypse. He is not the chief of the Nordic pantheon. In fact, that pantheon has no chief, see shore below, but it's wellspring, albeit a grim and frightening one. Alkash, dragon kin of cats. Pre Redata dynasty. Alequinine deity, a variation of the Ultimer Ariel, and thus an Akatosh as culture, hero for the earliest Khajiit. His worship was co opted during the establishment of the Riddle Thar, and he still enjoys immense popularity in elsewhere's wasteland regions. He is depicted as a fearsome dragon, a creature the Khajiit say is just a real big cat. He repelled an early Aldmeri program of Polinal White Strake during mythic times. I'm just testing something here. It looks like this book is going on forever whoa man holy mackerel okay so this is what we're going to do we're going to only read half of it today. We might read half of it later. I'm not reading this entire thing. Maybe not even half. Maybe like just a third. Okay, Amalexia, 
mother of Morrowind. Most traces of Akatosh disappeared from ancient Shimmer legends during their so-called exodus. So I'm also going to speed up my reading. So I'm going to read a little faster so that we can get through this. Shimmer legends during their so-called exodus, primarily due to their gods associating with esteem with the Altmeri. However, most aspects of Akatosh, which seem so important to the mortal races, namely immortality, historic, his Dorothy and genealogy have conventionally resurfaced in Amalexia, the most popular of Morrowind's divine tribunal. R.K., god of the cycle of life and death, member of the nine divines pantheon, and popular elsewhere as well. R.K. is often more important in those cultures where his father, Akatosh, is either less related to time or where his time aspects are difficult to comprehend by the layman. He is the god of burials and funeral rites and is sometimes associated with the seasons. His priests are staunch opponents of necromancy and all forms of the undead. It is said that R.K. did not exist before the world was created by the gods under Lorcan supervision, urging trickery. Therefore, he is sometimes called the mortal's god. Ariel, king of the Altmer and the elven Akatosh, is Ariel. Ariel is the soul of Anuel, who in turn is the soul of Anu, the everything. He is the chief of most Altmeri pantheons. Most Altmeri and Bosmer claim direct descent from the Ariel in his own known moment of weakness. He agreed to take his part of the creation of the mortal plane, that act which forever sundered the elves from the spirit worlds of eternity. To make up for it, Ariel led the original Altmer against the armies of Lorcan in mystic mythic times, vanquishing the tyrant, establishing the first kingdoms of the Altmer. Altmora and old Elafri, he then ascended to heaven in full observance of his followers so that they might learn the steps needed to escape the mortal plane. Azura, goddess of dusk and dawn. <clears throat> Azura was the god ancestor that taught the Shimmer the mysteries needed to be different than the Altmer. Some of her more convenient conventional teachings are sometimes attributed to Boethia in the stories. Azura is often more a communal cosmic force for the race as a whole than as an ancestor or god. Also known as the anticipation of Sothasil and elsewhere, an Azura is nearly a whole separate entity, yet she is still tied to the origins of the Khajiit out of Altmeri stock. Bandar, the Banda god, is the most in most regions, Bandar is the marginal deity, a trickster spirit of thieves and beggars, and elsewhere he is more important and is regarded as the pariah. In this aspect, Bandar becomes the cleverness or desperate genius of the long-suffering Khajiit. Those last-minute plans always upset the machinations of their elven or human enemies. Boethia, Prince of Plots, heralded by the prophet Veloth, Boethia is the original god ancestor of the Dark Elves, though his illuminations, the eventual Chimmer or Changed Folk, renounced all ties to the Altmer and found a new nation based on Daedric principles. All manner of dark elven cultural advances are attributed to Boethia, from philosophy to magic to responsible architecture. Ancient Velothi allegories are uniformly heroic successes of Boethia over enemy of every type. Foundation stories of Chimeri struggle, also known as the anticipation of Almalexia. Diagna, or a Calcic god of the sideways blade. Hoary thuggish cult of the Red Guards originated in Yokuda during the 27th Snake Folk Slaughter. Diagna was an avatar of the Hunding, the Vorkudan god of Make Way. See below. That achieved permanence. He was instrumental to the defeat of the left handed elves as he brought 
or a calc weapons to the Varkudan people to win the fight. In Tamriel, he led a very tight-knit group of followers against the orcs of Orsinium during the height of their ancient power, but then fitted, fled, or faded, I'm sorry, but then faded into obscurity. He is now little more than a local power spirit of the Dragon Tail Mountains. Debella, goddess of beauty, popular god of the Nine Divines and Cyrodiil. She was nearly a dozen different cults, some devoted to women, some to artists and aesthetics, and others to erotic instruction. Her memora, the woodland man, ancient Altmoran demon who at one time, nearly seduced the Nords into becoming Aldmer. Most Isgamor myths are about escaping the wilds of old Hermamora, also called the Demon of Knowledge. He is vaguely related to the cult origins of the Morag Tong, the Forester's Guild, if only by associated association with his brother-sister Mephala. Hunding, the Makeway God. Your Kudan spirit of perseverance over infidels. The Hunding has historically materialized, however. The Red Guards need to make way for their people. In Tamrielic history, this has only happened three times twice in the first era during the Ragada invasion and once during the Tiber War in the last incarnation. The Hunding is said to have been either a sword or a crown or both. Rundal, the Rune God, the Nordic God of hermetic orders. After falling out of favor with the rest of that pantheon, he became Julianus of the Nine D Divines. He is absent in modern Skyrim mythology. Jode, Big Moon God, Aldmeri God of the Big Moon, also called Mazer or Mara Tyr in Kajiti religion. Jode is only one aspect of the lunar lattice or Jarkaje. Joan, Little Moon God, Aldmeri God of the Little Moon, also called Secunda or Stendar's Sorrow. In Khajiit religion, Joan is only one aspect of the lunar lattice or Jakajov. Julianos, God of Wisdom and Logic, often associated with Junal, the Nordic father of language and mathematics. Julianus is the Cyrodiilic god of literature, law, history, and contradiction. Monastic orders founded by Tiber Septim and dedicated to Julianus are the keepers of the Elder Scrolls. Kine, kiss at the end. Nordic goddess of the storm, widow of shore and favored god of the warriors. She is often called the mother of men. Her daughters taught the first Nords the use of a thum or storm voice. Kinnereth, goddess of air. Kinnereth is a member of the nine divines, the strongest of the sky spirits. In some legends, she is the first to agree to Lorcan's plan to invent the mortal plane and provides the space for its creation in the void. She is also associated with rain, a phenomenon said not to occur before the removal of Lorcan's divine spark. Leki, saint of the spirit sword, goddess daughter of Tal Papa, Leki is the goddess of apparent swordsmanship. The Notambu of Yokuda Ward to a standstill during the mythic era to decide who would lead the charge against the left-handed elves. Their sword masters, though, were so skilled in the best-known cuts as to be matched evenly. Lecky introduced the ephemeral feint. Afterwards, a victor emerged and the war with the Aldmer began. Lorcan, the missing god. This creator, trickster, tester deity is in every Tamrielic mythic tradition. His most popular name is the Aldmeri Lorcan or Doom Drum. He convinced or contributed the original spirits to bring about the creation of the mortal plane, upsetting the status quo much like his father Padme, <laughs> Padome had introduced instability into the universe in the beginning. After the world is materialized, Lorcan is separated from his divine center, sometimes involuntarily, and wanders the creation of the Et Ada.
He and his metaphysical placement in the scheme of things is interpreted a variety of ways. In Morrowind, for example, he is being related to the Sijic endeavor, a process in which the mortals are charged with transcending the gods that created them. To the high elves, he is the most unholy of all high powers, and he forever broke their connection to the spirit plane. In the legends, he is almost always an enemy of the Aldmer and therefore a hero of early mankind. Lorcage, Moon Beast, Pre-Riadata pre Dynasty, Anaquin deity, easily identified with the missing god Larkin. Magnus, the god of sorcery. Magnus withdrew from the creation of the world at the last second, though it cost him dearly. What is left to him in the world is left in control of the mortals and magic. One day, he says, while the idea is thought up by Lorcan, it was Magnus who created the schematics and diagrams needed to construct the mortal plane. He is sometimes represented by an astrolabe, a telescope, or more commonly, a staff. Cyrodiilic legends say he can inhabit the bodies of powerful magicians and lend them his power. Associated with Zurin, Arcturus, and Underkeen. And that's where we're going to stop. We're going to read, we're going to start with Malakath in the next time I read a book. Interesting. I'm going to favorite that book. Is that crazy? Can you do that? Well, it didn't let me. <laughs> okay. I tried. Okay. Very good. Now, we've got a mission. I don't know what our mission is, but let's see what it is. Retrieve the black book. I did, didn't I? Healing horse. Get three tap roots. Wait for a message. A lot of that I want to do. Must be nice having an elevator. Got a little bit of weather coming in, it looks like. Okay, let's see if we can do any fast traveling. Uh, I think this is the black book, maybe? <clears throat> it's all good. Okay, I don't see a three. I'm gonna make that a two. Make that a three. So two is really important. Okay, got it. I didn't check, but let's see if there's any. Nope, I'm fully juiced. Ladies, you guys ready? I think I've been in here already and I killed a bunch of these uh, Reichlings. Oh, then again, maybe there's some more. Crush them! Oh. 
I'm not gonna bother searching them suckers. Oh hey. Whatcha? But I will search the huts. What did you find this time? Right. The other part of my job. Make sure she's got a supply of gems if she needs to uh, fill them up. These guys don't stand a chance. What a bunch of mewling puke stains. 
A good fight always gives me the horn. Save a baggage girl for me. By the Omega! We have put beer in their bellies. He's watching her work. Yield and I may spare you. Yield and I may spare you, she said. speed. The enemy will be whimpering for mercy. Victorious again. Tomb. Is that all that's in here is the Lusty Argonian Maid? Volumes 1 and 2. Okay. Find anything good? I found a healing potion. Come on. 
<clears throat> you want some more? Search this place. I didn't need a broom. A broom? Are you a housewife now? Oh my gosh, <laughs> she saw that. <laughs> the, what, the, the bell. Amethyst, okay. Did you find anything of value? Nope. I found a broom. Search in the downstairs first. missing look around and see if you can find the broken symbol It's a, it's a fishy.
And we're here to find the black book, right? Ah. Well, this definitely looks like part two. Okay, Untold Legends. Was I just over there? I don't want to go to chapter four. I want to go to chapter three. Something here I'm supposed to touch or caress. I see you two over there.
Nice. Okay, we're just moving forward, checking the side passages.
we must hunt them down like rabbits today. No, I don't want to go to chapter three. Okay, I'm going backwards. Unless there's something in chapter three I need to do. Summons a spectral drum that plays for you, increasing stamina. Summons a Demora butler to carry your excess items. That's kind of cool. Summons a more merchant to trade with you. Instead of, instead of just carrying my stuff, they can buy it off me. talking to him I don't remember but we're going there and we're talking <clears throat> it's close to loved one
good to have everyone not run. Excellent. I'll just make a copy for myself. It's far too dangerous to carry the real book around. Of course you can handle yourself. Of course you can. Of course. Now, take this for your efforts, and we'll call the matter closed. The man makes a dreadful cup of Canis root tea. However, he seems to run the place well enough. Oh, were you fishing for a compliment, a sign of gratitude? <laughs> Don't waste your time. Those things are for the weak and foolish. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. Are we done? I yeah, thought so. Yeah, we're done. He didn't say anything. Oh, that says steel. Ring of sneaking, I can get rid of it. Oh, my level, my level hurts. Well, you got a couple of these tables. Are you okay? Well, that lazy steward of mine, Verona, <laughs> driver. <laughs> I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. <laughs> oh, my lord. Sometimes being Master Nerloth's apprentice is painful. I could see that. Okay, there's nothing really here that I want to borrow. Healing a house. I do need to find some taproot. But I think what we're going to do is fast travel back to solitude. I've got a lot of stuff I got to drop off. And get rid of and all that etc and stuff and jazz I'm going to upgrade that sword, and if all goes well, that'll be a level. Might not be, but at least it'll be upgraded.
Wanderer like you must have plenty of tales to tell. Wait, 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 wait a second, where did this come from? What is going on here? <clears throat> I don't think it has anything to do with that, um... mod that I installed, right? Crusader armor? It shouldn't have anything to do with the house. I don't think. <clears throat> Lead on. Let's go. I can see that you know what you are doing. Okay, so that back door is now broken. I'm gonna have to figure out uh, if it's something as, because now I've got a couple of guards uh, that man the door back there. Um, Maybe you need a partner, hmm? Oh, and to be with you. Yeah. Oh, wait, I picked up some spell tomes. I think I need to drop those off as well.
Okay, so we just received a note from a courier. I need to read it. It's probably this one. I don't want to panic, but I need to see you at the barrow quickly. What barrow? Return to, oh, maybe that's his message. All right, let's do it. I just wanted to get here and drop off some stuff. <clears throat> and, it, and I also um, <clears throat> powered up some magic weapons and dropped off the black books. And it looks like we are one black book short of a full collection. Back to Solstein. said hurry so it must be urgent and now you're back great Draugr again I mean we should have expected it right <laughs> what else do you find in these damned crypts but waves and waves of Draugr at least six of the diggers are dead the rest of them ran off, and I don't blame them. You've had some luck with these things before. Do you think you could go back in? See if anyone's still alive. We're doing this. These are my employees, after all, right? Business partner and all. I'm gonna wait for it to look up at me and then print screen. Whoop, not with the hand in the face. Well, dang. Okay, that's not bad. And. Boom, right there. Okay. Did you find anything good? Hey. What is weighing on your mind? I have something for you. It's not much, but I saw, I saw, I thought. I suppose that is of no use to them anymore. Damn, Priya's got the, she's got the lines. Come on, Lydia, you're falling behind on the on the lines. Now somebody should have a sword that makes the undead like freak out.
Freya. See if she's stuck on something. What are you doing over here? Need something? Where you go, I will follow. Didn't look like you were. Looked like you were hiding. It was just Lydia and I. Shall prevail. This place is ours. You only go out of your way to take me to the most romantic place. The enemy of jawfall and swine, not men. The enemy must not pass. Right when I <clears throat> was telling Lydia that she doesn't talk enough, she spoke up. Looks like a death knight again. At your service, of course. Anything that I have is yours. I hope you found something that will benefit us. Right. The other part of my job.
Let's go. <clears throat> Good job finding that. <clears throat> How many handles do you need? I have a feeling that those are all trapped. Okay, top opens. She has a name. Attack! I hear it. <clears throat> That's where we came from. <clears throat> It is very dirty and disgusting down here. Is it under the sand? Also, did I miss a door?
Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna try pulling a few of those other levers. Ring of necromancy. See, that wall did look like a door, and that's why I said, oh, there's probably something over here. What did you find this time? That looks like a door. Oh wait, we know it is a door. of ways to go here. Oh no. Thank you for the light, Lydia. I wouldn't be able to figure this out without you.
honestly don't think You guys are probably all laughing at me saying, it's right there, can't you see it? And I'm like, uh... No. I know those are doors. You just can't figure out how to open them. This says just go out, so that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> going to have to dig a little bit more, maybe. Any news? I should have figured. Damn. Well, at least I'm going to hire some mercenaries this time, too. Having some people around who know how to fight should. Well, it'll set the miners at ease and hopefully keep them alive. But they won't be cheap, either. It's going to hit 3,000 this time, I'm afraid. Have you got that on you? We're going to be making this back 50-fold, partner. Trust me, Andy. I'll go hire a new crew and some brawny types to keep them safe. Come back and check in on us. Nothing can stop us this time. I wish him luck, mainly because I can hear a word of power inside there. 
Is this dark? It's dark on my screen, but not so much on the recording. That's good. That means my... <laughs> Seems you've inherited a situation. Drovus Relvi owes me 1,000 septums. At least he did until you set him up with that Telvanni wizard. Now he's untouchable. The way I figure it, it's your fault he can't pay me. So I guess I'm going to have to collect it from you. What? Nothing for now. But watch your back. I'll be sending collectors to find you. One way or the other, I'll get my money. Tired of running? I knew you were weak. Now pay me. Sooner or later, they all pay. I don't even know who you are, dude. We're gonna hit our house away from home or home away from home. Um. This will be a good spot to actually stop the stream. But before we do that, I'm going to level up so I don't forget. I don't need any more stamina. I do want health. And... I got a 98% lock picking. That's pretty high. And I don't have anything added. I just figured might as well start working on that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go. It pleases me to watch you grow in strength. My bond with the elements has grown stronger. Nice. All right, so that's where we're going to call it, and I'll see you in the next one if YouTube plays nicely with me. I've also noticed, P.S., that the video has been taking a little extra time to upload. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm doing it in 1440 or if it's because I'm doing a two-hour video. Um, <clears throat> but normally a two-hour video usually only takes about a day for YouTube to process, not three or four days like some of these videos have been taking. So just be patient with YouTube. And uh, if you're interested in miniatures, be sure to hit my uh, eBay store uh, located right there. And... Uh, we have painted miniatures, non-painted miniatures. We have uh, we do commission work as well as historical, fantasy, sci-fi, whatever you need, and uh, sometimes supplies. I think I'm going to be putting up a church um, that I've got finished from. Uh, I wanted to say Litgo, but that's not right. It's not Litgo. It was uh, Sarissa. It's a it's, a, it's an old church, so I'm going to go ahead and put that up on the store very soon. So check that out. All right, I'll see you in the next video.